someone goes hata tujui nani anaongea that point so one goes like uh, is anyone wearing a, a, a bra a, pa, a bra and pant na kama umefuatilia sana you people that go to do ngono with and you suspect someone there is a certain time anakwambia let's do it now Hello everybody welcome to the platform the platform podcast I'm your guy Mzima Wells what in the 254 is going on what the hell is going on in the 254 recently we just uh, not even gotten over the death of uh, the late Starlet Wahu and then two days ago I mean one day ago we just hearing this story of another Kenyan lady found dead in an Airbnb what is going on in the 254 just before we proceed if you are new here as I always say it's very wicked very wrong very evil to keep watching and enjoying my shows without doing what pressing the bell icon down there and smashing the subscribe button it's very wrong to do that so before we proceed please make sure you smash that button as we proceed let's get it rolling Now something seems to be utterly wrong in the 254 our Kenyan ladies seem to be losing their lives day in day out few days ago as i said before to me hata tujamaliza hata hiyo case ya Starlet Wahu it is still in the courts the case isn't even over a day ago tunaona pastor ingine ya a Kenyan lady found dead uh, pale Roy Sambu TRM drive in an Airbnb and this time not just dead found in pieces cut into pieces so we're trying to decipher what the problem is trying to look at the problem is it the problem in the country or the problem with our kenyan ladies so there's some videos uh, making rounds uh, this this one video making rounds uh, in mostly pale tiktok there's a lady explaining the situation so the story ambayo ina come up ni kwamba we have nigerian men who are using kenyan ladies not just for sex but for rituals so there's a video here making rounds on tiktok pale uh inasema kwamba inaelezea jinsi ambavyo wale manager wanatumia mabinti zetu hapa kenya kutengeza pesa uh, using them having sex with them and after that uh they are doing rituals money rituals with these ladies after this i will narrate to you a story that uh, recently happened few days ago this happened this is a one on one story that i just got uh, across so let's get to hear this uh, what this lady is talking about tumskiza hapa story yake na piga story hapa she's explaining how this nigerian men make money money rituals wacha tumskize anasemaje once upon a time i had a friend she was coming from tzd akaniambia mom niko na wageni wasiche na washao mnajua kile na maanisha niko na wageni na maanisha i have men that wants ladies so organized mimi hawakunipatia budget nilikuwa na work tuna normally of course hawakuji kulala kwangu sina hata nyumba kubwa ya ku accommodate people so me i go to uh, lovington that was a house nilikuwa najua hapo mm, close to lovington mall nikasema acha niende niangalie hiyo airbnb it was a four bedroom on compound airbnb mnajua hizo manyumba so let's say bedroom zote kwa hiyo villa ilikuwa kama seven hivi The lady to- called me and tells me they like the house and stuff I book for them me I get the money eh paka nikafurahia hiyo biashara because nimepaiwa pesa hata siwakuniambia budget me after nilipata nyumba nikawaambia this is it they just sent money like extra extra money and they were staying for only two days they were six men that was 2020 when 2020 start of uh, March apo 2020 March so when the guys came to cut a long story short wakafika Nairobi i i took them to their apart nini to the villa that was now in Runda so when we went to Runda nikaweka kwa nyumba and stuff and stuff wakaji wakaji fix nini nini so my own was to go back and look forward for ladies i had friends then so i had to get like three friends from my friends and other outside friends unajua to these deals you have to put your friends to kama kweli you want your friends to benefit and then i had to look for other three ladies now from outside which niliwa to facebook siku agata na nilikuwa na instagram but siku anga active from mombasa moja wawili nairobi nikapata madem huyo wa mombasa akalipiwa ticket akakuja nairobi so madem wakakuwa sita so plus mimi saba 
plus ule dem eight so sisi ndo let's just say sisi ndo wenye deal and stuff na sasa kuna the other six ladies they came acha wanaume wako kwa choose at Mr. Kidema na they just said bring ladies ndo ujue nyewe kweli mtu akitaka kukutumia atakutumia ataki kujua unakaaje just bring the ladies initially mimi na ude mwingine mtizedi tulikuwa tulale pamoja like in one room so that everyone can have a room but kuna mwanaume mmoja sasa ndio i think mkubwa wao odogu au sasa ndio alikuwa anataka apitie kila one 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 siju kama mnani get nilale na huyu see we are six no the ladies when you are ni sita alale na hao wote six fast before hawa wengine wa wapewe siju kama mna get what i mean this is how they use you in these rituals ati huyu mkubwa wao ndiye anataka kulala na kila mtu and then after melala na kila mtu is when you are allowed to sleep with the rest of the men you get nilikuwa alafu the deal was too good ladies walikuwa nalipo 165000 165000 na hiyo ni just a night and then kesho yake pia walipo hivyo and then kwenye walikuja from far watalip because niliwaambia hata wengine wadanganya wametoka mbali bado wapewe fair and then you get to shop you understand hizi vitu zenye nawaambia when the deal is too good msisahau kuna stima kumezimwa and everything so tumekuwa kwa room moja this guy said let's sit in a kuna kuangana hizi rooms za juu upstairs and then zinaitangwaje tv room or something atuko sasa downstairs tuko sasa kwa rooms juu but hapo there is a sitting room so they said because there is no electricity and uh, we are not gonna use the phones and stuff let's stay here kwa room moja mind you we can see what is happening at that point and then everywhere is kuna giza so we sit and we are like everyone here wanakuita paka jina yako ni kama venye teacher anawaitaga shule present 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 toka tuliza so watch it watch video hapo if you want to watch uh, the full length of the video you can go there to tiktok at magi underscore she uh, na pia pale at the hub tv kenya ziko pale full uh, version you can go there on tiktok so Uh, long story short what's happening here Niger men luring our ladies with loads of money and then what she's saying is menda pale kwa rumflani mwingi sana you sleep with all those men because this Niger men they wanna pata room like they all stay in one house mostly mostly they stay watu wengi many Niger men in one house so you guys or you ladies menda pale uh, you sleep with all these men ni mwana pale kwenye comment section watu wanasema kwamba hizi stories za jaba. I don't know. Uh, wanasema the lady's story is so inconsistent. Mara anasema Lovington, mara anasema Runda. So some people don't believe this actually happens. But let me play this second clip uh, to ascertain kwamba do we really have this thing called money rituals? Do we have money rituals? Niger men in Kenya performing uh, using our ladies for money rituals. There's this other clip TikTok. Let's have a look at it. Uh, It's dangerous out there. Mimi nilikaa kwa hiyo brother I'm even lucky. My own case is lucky. I had like maybe like say two three girls who died in the same brother. Mtu anaenda na hata rudi tena. Huyo mwingine by the way hata it was all over the news. I knew the girl. I felt so bad. I knew the the girl alikuwa amekatwa shingo. She was her private parts taken the nigerians who have married kenyans here they'll want them to have their own separate house and then sasa they'll go and live with their boys because they know the kind of rituals they are doing una tafuta ritualist that your boyfriend is the ritualist where do you think all these private parts unasikia mtu ameuliwa amepelewa private parts zimetolewa umesikia mtu ameuliwa ulimi imetolewa ama nini imefanywa kwa hiyo sabuni utapata ni mtoto alitwangwa utapata ni ma, labda macho ya mtu utapata ni moyo wa mtu utapata ni mikono ya mtu mtu atakuja tu alale na wewe and that is enough what and that is enough because that's all i did and when i woke up i saw all this blood and all i still i was still ignorant i was like you know what uh, maybe it's hormones or something then the following day sasa kuamka I could not wake up because I was so weak. So much blood had been taken away from me. I was so weak I couldn't even open my eyes. I couldn't um, talk. Within a week, venye nilikuwa nakaa, nilikuwa nakaa ni kama a HIV patient. 
what happens is I'm sorry to say this but actually that's the main reason why I really wanted to do this show because I felt like people need to know these things girls especially wasana when you're Kenya mm. like they really need to understand these things and know these things maybe because of my ignorance I almost died your mentality yeah, these things don't exist these things don't because I was one of those people mimi hakuna vitu kitungeniambia magic i was like you people watch too much afro cinemas isn't it vitu unaona kwa movie it's the doc aya acha tuachie hapo so basically she's telling the same same story of how nigerian men use kenyan ladies I don't know if it's only Kenyan ladies or other ladies in other countries as well but here in Kenya basically manager men using Kenyan ladies for money rituals she's saying this is what happened to her so sister is a jijaba kwake this happened to her so our dear Kenyan ladies what is it but i keep wondering what is it you keep looking for in this nigerian man who na chapa mkenya hapa hana kakiru unasema unaendea mnaija because they have money they splash money on you they just they wana kuchafua na pesa so wewe unaoendea you don't know these things are happening and most of you unasikia hapo you are ignorant you've never seen these things in Kenya they're not here people using other people for money rituals but Nigerian men I'm told this is what they do Kenyan ladies itabidi mwache hii tabia kwa kutafuta manager because they'll keep using you and using you. So recently, now let me tell you a story that happened to me recently. Uh, I was on my way ilikuwa na shughuli fulani pale airport hapo JKIA. So I had to call a bolt. So I called uh, I ordered the bolt. It could come. And then yeah, it was a lady driving me. So she came hapo hivi mtaani. So I had worn a mask, me over a mask sana nikiwa nje. I had a mask, my specs were on. My cape this way was just facing backwards and I also had a, a hoodie. Yep. So nika fungua gari the left hand side. Nyuma back left. When I entered akashtuka, "Hey." Like akaniambia, "Lazima ni juu wa mkari. I must know who I'm carrying. Please remove, remove your mask." So I had to take off my mask and be, "Oh, it's me, ni mimi. Niko na homa kidogo na maana nimevaa mask." So tukaishia so we went just silent mimi spend kupiga story kwa gari tukibeba na madere wa bolt spendangi story i sit there the back left nimenyamaza so tukaenda tukafika pale airport jkia mimi nikashuka nikaingia pale kwa e, there's a place nilikuwa naingia hapo nikapiga shughuli zangu haraka haraka nikarudi so before i left i paid the the lady the amount of money nikakuja hapo hivyo nikamtumia kwa mp mpesa acha naona kuambia tu hey, jeenda offline ji unapata mtu wa bolt anakuambia go offline ndio mlipe pesa ji inakaaje ndio watu wa bolt wasiona amelipa do so wanatumia hiyo okoro na kuambia either end offline ama do same ke kama ni 600 anakuambia umongeze umongeze so by the way if a bolt driver tells you that usikubali usikubali kuenda offline na usikubali kumongeze do hizo ni regulations za bolt wenyewe walisema hivyo so i paid her the amount of money then i left nikaenda kufanya shughuli zangu pale So nikiwa pale sana nimeshamaliza shughuli yangu I come back eh natoka hapo nje I try to order another bolt So na, na try to cancel hii nyingine I cancel hiki Like you need first to cancel this one ndio order nyingine I'm trying to cancel that uh, order and nisha lipa tayari huo huo mama nishamlipa nishamaliza na yeye So I'm canceling that ndio ni order nyingine imekata Nini na shanga shida iko wapi I've never seen such a thing So I struggle ikakata I had to uninstall the bolt app nikani install hiyo app then nika install tena ndio ni order fresh I did that when I install the app back bado your order yule mama bado iko hapo haijatoka ai na shanga hii ni kitu gani nikasema ama ni, ni install uba kasema hapana mimi sijaitumia uba mimi utumia bolt so I try that again ikakata ai kasema what's the problem ai kwanga leave mbele pale kwa parking eh hey, na shanga hiyo number plates ni itambua because when you order bolt inakujanga na number plate ya driver so when i look hapo mbele na shanga ile gari si bado ni ule mama like i can recognize that number plate ni ule mama alikuwa amenibe amenibeba so nikaona ah kama mama ako hapo sasa acha ni muende eh hakuna haja tena ni ni order nyingine na hii imekataa ku cancel so let me just go to her she takes me back 
uh, back to my place because in the same amount of money going and coming same amount of money so because let me just go so i went there the right hand side of uh, of the of the bolt nika and i kwa city yake hapo nikambishia nikambi hey enyaje you can take me back or nikambi ah oh ni mimi nilikuwa nimeleta akashtuka eh kwani kumefanyikaje because she thought maybe nienda kuchukua flight niende kambi no i'm not taking a flight i was just going to niki dogo and then there was a, something i was speaking laugh ni rudi nikamwambia but hii kiti yako imekataa ku cancel nilikuwa nimeni oh, akaniambia ah akaangalia hivi simu yake ah pole pole ni mimi nilikataa ku kuni ku confirm hii door on my side ndio maana imekufanya hivyo so apparently kama haya haja confirm hiyo pesa haizi cancel in your phone so mimi nika nikamwambia ah ni nilikuwa na try ku order imekataa kaniambia usijali pole sana i i forgot to cancel so nikaingia kwa happy the back left no the back right sasa kingi hapo back right of that uh, of that bolt so mimi niko hapo hapo nyuma yo dere yo lady ako hapo mbele wa mama ni mama mama hivi ako hapo mbele so kuingia hivi kwa gari nikafunga mlango then she told me something so to to ilipoanza kutoka sasa na out of the airport sasa kaniambia eh she has a request kaniambia she's requesting me niketi ni wapi the left hand side eh kashtuka eh kwa nini mbaya hapa eh kaniambia like she didn't want me to sit behind her kaniambia niketi wapi the left hand side so eh nikamwambia ni sawa ina shida nika move but kamuliza mbona she told me there's an incident kuna kitu ambacho kilimfanyikia a while ago a while back that ilimfanya aogope sana ku have a client na keti wapi nyuma yake so that's why i can request ni keti wapi left so nika so i got curious nikaanza kumuuliza hey what happened kitu gani ilifanyika so akaanza kunipiga story kaniambia kuna client fulani ashaibeba alikuwa ameketi wapi hapa nyuma yake so huyo client walifika mahali akamgonga kichwa the client was a man alikuwa mwanaume akampiga alikuwa anampeleka uko hivyo somewhere uko hivyo sio kimao so the client was from lolongo no alim tom lolongo na mpeleko wapi sio kimao so the client alimpiga kichwa mara kadhaa na mawe and uh, the last one alikuwa anatumia chupa karibu am amkate so i got curious again kambe so what so what really happened hebu nipige story because me i love stories hebu nipige story so kaza kuniambia so this client alikuwa amembeba na mpeleko wapi sio kimao so kufika pale sio kimao wo client akamwambia Johanna pesa kwa simu wacha akimbie kwa nyumba aleta hiyo pesa amlipe but before he went akafanya kitu your client akamwachia simu yake akache simu pale kwa hiyo hiyo bolt and then he went and picked the money and then he came back so when he came back they started driving ilikuwa about pale 7:30 pm usiku siku hivi ndo giza imeingia so akaenda wakafika mahali huyu jamaa tu akaanza kupiga huyo mama akashika tu mawe alikumbe alikuwa na mawe amekuja nayo mawe hiyo in that kwa hiyo giza alikuwa ameba mawe akapiga huyo mama kwa mawe kwa kichwa so alikuwa anaenda hivi eh, eh, lucky enough walikuwa anaenda like there was a in kama around about hivi mahali so the car was not speeding a lot so the mama akaenda aka speed hadi kwa hiyo wall around about hivi akagonga wall around about gari kaenda hapo chini ika ikalala kwa trench flani hivi so akampiga tena na akachukua chupa hapo alikuwa na chupa imevunjika ime ya, ya soda ama jini ya pombe aka dunga huo mama hapa hivi watu mama aku <laughs> mama dadaku aku daddy but aliumia alianza ku bleed so akamdunga hapo hivyo na ni so the mama had locked the doors So manze u mama ka struggle pale ka struggle uh, now the doors were locked at akipiga nduru watu wa ski huko nje people are not even hearing she's she's bleeding there alafu hivyo sasa aka try sasa ku ku help aka fungwa na aka unlock the doors aka jaribu ku help then huo jamaa pia aka help na alikuwa ameacha viatu ndani so now this guy came pale kwa driver seat huko mbele na aka ruka hivi from the client seat driver seat aka akachukua ni cuz now the lady akachukua simu yake yenye alikuwa machio lady ndio ahepe so kwa hapa hivyo eh u mama asha unlock sayo do akapiga nduru watu wakasikia kwa nje now in that ni bila ligongo kichwa hapo nyuma eh but mbaya majini bahati mzuri this lady knocked some moto, motorcycle people hapo hivyo so to motorcycle wenye mbao wali nokiwa ndio walisaidia u mama when she alipopiga yeye nduru sasa wakaja wakashika jamaa wakapiga jamaa proper wakapiga jamaa proper so 
the story that came about ni kwamba this man actually was a Nigerian man. Was a Nigerian man and what he was doing now the story now that came up later cuz now after kupigo ni na he had to say the truth. This guy had a Kenyan girlfriend. So that girlfriend they had a deal eh eh la fuyo dem akawashau jamaa pesa. Akawashau jamaa pesa. So what happened in kwamba sasa this guy had been instructed for his deals his money is potted do yake is potted lazima a make sacrifice and the sacrifice has to be a lady so on this fateful day amepata a lady driver wa bold akasema this is it this is the time so this knocking the mama kwa kichwa was actually to kill the woman and maybe use the uh, her body parts for sacrifice ndio shughuli zake mabiashara zake in the through i'm telling you this niger man can do anything as long as it's money involved and so as long as it's involving money they can do anything including that sacrifice that's why alikuwa anataka kwa madau huo madam that's what the madam told me so what happened ni this guy aliposhikwa kapale kapale kwa police station police walikata ku arrest because alikuwa amepigwa vibaya sana but later tano kwamba the police in that area walikuwa na jomse so ni kama hata walikuwa na deal flani na jomse so hata wangea mu arrest so wala ambao nasema kwamba mimi sorry yangu imeishia hapo it's about the Nigerian man seeking uh, wanting to kill this lady for rituals so this lady was bold akaanza kuniambia venye wao sasa tumeize how they do money rituals hapa Kenya atuko informed of that story but huko Nigeria this is what they do these guys huko kwa sasa ni wengi sana sawa wamekuja hapa Kenya this is what they do money rituals so our dear Kenyan ladies before you go to that Nigerian man you need to be very extra extremely careful what you are getting yourself into if you don't hear manze usposke story yetu we shall keep seeing such stories easy zama money rituals mnaenda kwa Airbnb hata uji kama ni Airbnb ama ni nyumba yao wako hapo ma Nigeria wengi mazee utatumiwa hapo after hiyo unakatwa katwa unauliwa unakatwa kata they use your body parts for rona what unasikia hapa at they take out your private parts they can take out your eyes sio wanaenda kutengenezea ji sabuni sio ji akiogea sabuni sio anapata ji anakuwa na good luck his business ita ita boom ama ita bloom so Kenyan ladies i hope you are listening Bina chi hapo na fungie story hapo. Let's see you mazai in the next video but you need to be very careful our dear Kenyan ladies. Be very very careful. Yep, I end it there for today. Manze, kama umesikia, usikie na usaidie wengine pia kusikia. You can share out the video. Watu wapate kujua ukweli. If you haven't followed me please smash the subscribe button pale chini and the bell icon for notifications follow me on Instagram Facebook on Twitter Mzima Wells all those social platforms as always keep safe and that's all I have. peace